next elements of art we're going to discuss are color and value. I like to talk about them together because they work together harmoniously. Um, and I show them to you in a very specific way so that you can understand how color uh, works with our value scales and how they um, help you to create a color palette that you won't have to water down with grays if you don't want to. So um, you can use just a pure uh, color palette with hues. So when I say the word hues, you're going to hear me say that quite often. Um, a hue is the name of the color on a color wheel. So a hue would be like yellow, red, blue, violet, any of those colors. Um, we just use those to help us to know what specific color we're referring to on the color wheel. Um, it's just part of our logistical process in that. Um, now, this color wheel is going to be, uh, again, in a very specific way that I'm going to need you to know how to, to work that way. And we're going to start with the top of the color wheel, which is going to be yellow. Um, this is going to be one of our lightest colors on the, our lightest color on the color wheel. And so you can use in your palette um, yellows instead of just a bright, bright uh, white, like just like a pure white or like the color of your canvas or whatever. So yellows are going to be very important to us as we continue on. Now, where you have yellow and you have red, And you have blue. You have a primary color triad. So you will have these three colors that are going to work together. to help you mix other colors on the color wheel. They can come together into blend. And you can see all the beautiful colors that they can make when you work those together. And in the center, when they all three meet together, you get these beautiful neutral colors. It's a much more vibrant brown. You'll have your oranges and you'll have your greens and all those colors that you would need to use, but you also have these nice neutrals in the center. And this is again primary, your primary triad. That is one of your building blocks of your colors, your primary triad. So once you have your primary, um, the way this color will set up, if you have these, if you have these colors on here, between those colors is going to be the color that they make. So if you can see on here, we have orange. So yellow and red is going to make orange. Okay, so I'm going to put orange down here too. And 
yellow and blue is going to make green. And blue and red will make violet. Now, just like the, the yellow was a uh, very um, high value, like um, a light lighter value, I should say. Um, this is going to be one of the darker values that you use. So often when I'm trying to get a rich, dark, like velvety color, I'll use my violets, my purples um, to achieve those colors. Sometimes in, in conjunction with some other colors we'll discuss later. But um, those dark values here, you can see the, the distance here on these clearly going to give some brightness to your piece and this will give you some rich dark values. So, oh, let me go back and do that. The violet and the green, when you mix those together, we're dealing with the um, a secondary triad. So you can see the colors um, are going to mix in a, a different way than these. They're going to get some different neutrals in the center. This is your secondary. Okay. And then you have your intermediate colors. Now your intermediate colors are gonna be a combination of a primary and a secondary. So if you take a yellow and mix an orange, you get a yellow orange. If you mix a orange and a red, you're going to get a red orange. If you mix your red and violet, you're going to get a red violet. If you mix a yellow and green, you get yellow green. You notice I'm always saying the primary one first and then the secondary. Um, mix the green, mix the green and the blue. You're gonna get a nice blue green. And the violet and the blue. You'll have a nice blue violet. And the intermediates, are going to be your, of course, your yellow, 
green, your yellow orange, your red orange, your red violet. your blue violet, and your blue green. 